Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Blockception SMP Let's Play. Although as you can see, this is not the Blockception server. Uh, this would be my test world. And I was just testing out some stuff. I recently, uh, I brewed up a whole bunch of potions since the last episode with the new brewing room. So I've got like half a double chest of every potion. Which is pretty cool. I've got a good supply now. So I was actually, I was making a sort of potion station set up here. This one was mainly designed to be like a, uh, I don't know, a, I guess a portable station. Like, the point is to hide this near someone's base or something, and then when you're going to, like, attack them or something, you just, like, dig down a dirt block and there's a pressure plate there. And the point of it is that it's going to push you back up. But, well, I was actually experimenting with this. I figured out a weird little quirk here. If you put these dispensers like that, and then we go into survival mode. I'm using too many items here. I don't normally have this on. I just have it on for testing purposes. Watch this. You just fall in. <laughs> and you're stuck. <laughs> and you cannot jump out. I guess you can punch your way out. Uh, which works, but still, I thought that was pretty interesting that you just fall right through instead of anything else happening. That was kind of funny to me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that design is not going to work. Uh, I know I kind of want to have a system where, like, I want to design some reusable and non-reusable potion stations now, because I want to have, like, speed potions around my base that I could pop really quick. I know one, so this uh, episode's probably going to be mainly a testing episode. Okay, after some failed attempts, I've decided this idea is terrible and it's not going to work. Just, I don't know, I could figure out a lava blade system, but I'd rather not go through the effort and it's, I'm not going to think, I'm not thinking it's going to be worth it the way this is working out. I do have an old cow farm design, which I liked, but unfortunately, uh, it doesn't work that well in SMP, but if we're building it for 1.3, then it might work because of the less glitchy mobs. But yeah, how that one worked is there's like a, uh, I don't remember exactly how I did it. All I remember is I was breeding them in a very small chamber, and then in that chamber, here, let's just make the chamber really quick. There it goes like that. And then they're all inside there. And let's just put glass there for now. This is not how the chamber looked exactly, but I'm just taking a little guess here. And then there would be a minecart that would come around. I need some rails. I just figured out I could actually, I could compact it quite a bit if I didn't add the empty cart detector because you don't really need it. But, uh, let's see, I'll do it with the empty cart detector for now because that's how I did it before. So, how this worked was there was a, uh, power drill. And then it would go like this, I think. And spiral around. Oh, no, I want it to spiral the other way. I want it to spiral towards the player. You'll see shortly. It, I had this idea a long time ago, and it, I know for a fact it does work. It just, because of SMP mob glitchiness, the cows were difficult to keep a hold on, and they never stayed in their chamber. They would glitch out all the time, and it caused a lot of issues in the long run. So I ended up scrapping the idea before, but I don't know. It might be a possibility. So, let's see if we got the empty cart detector working. Yeah, I think so. And, okay, that's not how it's supposed to be. Alright, we need to fix this whole track, and it needs to be day. Make it day. Make it day. So, yeah, um, while we're doing this, I'll just talk a little bit. Uh, this is going to be my last LP for a while, because I've got a vacation that I'm going on on Thursday and I'll be gone for 10 days so no LPs will be coming out I'll upload a bunch of stuff ahead of time and I'll be starting the legendary series will be coming out 
But yeah, for now, there's not going to be any LP footage, except I believe there will be one, which I already recorded ahead of time. And that'll that's for 10 days, and regular videos will probably start up again like the 22nd. Not sure what day that is, but we'll go back to the regular schedule then. But for now, it'll probably just be like every other day legendary or something, because I have a lot of footage of that and want to put something up, but in some of the places I'm going, I won't be able to access Wi-Fi, so I won't be able to put stuff up from my phone, so if I can't, it won't be out. But yeah, we'll, it'll be normal schedule again once I get back, but until then, yeah, it's not going to be a lot coming out. I'll try to at least put something out, but it won't be much. Alright, so we fixed that now. And now we broke it again. God. Alright, go up. Break this. There we go. Alright, let's try this now. Now if we push this down. And it will not go up to the top. That's good. So now we put a cow in here. Or a lot of cows. Let's say we bred some cows in here. All you have to do is spam wheat to breed them, by the way. It works. And he gets picked up. And now the cart will go over the top. Whoa. Why did he take fall damage? Do you, is it because he's not on a rail, I guess? Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, what I... The idea here is that it comes up. And then I think this might be high enough. So it goes around. And right here there will be a lava blade. Which catches him on fire and weakens him a good bit. So let's just build that really quick. Lava blade. This is a very important part of this design, because otherwise you don't get the cooked beef and it's not really worth it. I don't really see why you would not make... Unless you're using a looting sword, which I'm not intending to, there's not really any reason to not try to get cooked beef out of it, so... May as well set up a system for it. And I do... I want to get some better food, for sure. I'm running dangerously low. And I want to put a powered rail there just to make sure we make it. There we go. So now let's put a mine cart on the track and make sure it's still not going up. Or actually, this is how you'd get cows in it normally. You'd drop them in the top. So we'll put a couple cows in here. Now watch this. They'll come down and they'll catch fire and they will drop. Uh, but the key here is to keep the minecart going. You make them drop on some rails, like this. And, actually, we can make this curve and come right by where, we, where we're standing while we're breeding these guys. And then cut there. And now it goes back around. And it drops a minecart right back onto that track. I designed this whole system a while ago and it, it works, I know that. So here we go. Put a block right there to catch the minecart. And finish up the rails here. Throw a few more power in there. There we go. Alright. And this should be relatively functional now. Yep, let's try it. So it goes up and back down. Picks up a cow through the corner, hopefully at some point. And they seem to be having issues with that part. Yeah. One thing you gotta worry about is uh, you need to come up with a system to normally you would piston the cows up one so they can't be picked up that way you can wait until the babies grow up and that worked pretty well when I was using it 
I suppose I wouldn't even need the second chamber, which is what I was having issues with. But yeah, for now, let's just make a cow here. Did anything get picked up yet? Why are they not getting picked up? Here, let's put some more cows in there, see if that helps. Oh, there we go. See, and now that you stand right here. And the minecart. I'm... See, and they come down, they get killed by fall damage, and the minecart goes back around. Minecart picks up cow, cow gets burnt, cow comes down, cow gets killed. Minecart goes, picks up cow, cow goes into lava, drops, fall damage, and beef. So, yeah, I like this design because of how clean it is and the fact that the minecart loops pretty well. Actually, I think we could use this design for the cow farm. All we need to do is, uh, I worry about the cows glitching out, though. We need to have a reserve farm in case the cows died out on us. Uh, the other downside of this farm is that you have to sit here and actively collect while this is happening. Otherwise, it can get jammed. Because, um, if you look here, yeah, it already happened. The items get in the way and the minecart gets stuck. And, uh... If you don't want any more cows to get caught, like you're noticing you're low on cows, and you have the ceiling on, duh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, assuming there are cows in here, and you have a ceiling. Oh, actually, this could be used to store the cows also, that's, that never occurred to me. Because, uh, if you place this here, and put the glass on a lever then... Then you could open and close this top here, drop some cows in, and then put a top on here and flip this. And yeah, that actually, I'm not sure if that would keep the cows from glitching out or what. But yeah, that, if you look here, now the cows are no longer being picked up. What? Are they still being picked up? <laughs> Crap. Why is that? Yeah, they're glitching through that block, so clearly this isn't what we want. Uh, we want this to go one higher, then. And we want that cow dead. There we go. That's what we want. So now this minecart, if it comes back around, yeah. Now it cannot pick up that cow anymore. And we can just store cows in here like this uh, and the other thing I wonder can we store the cows in glass to keep them from escaping if you just pushed this block into them yeah that could be rest mode if we put glass in their head like that that should keep them from getting out of their well actually that's for keeping them out of keeping them in mine cards. They should be fine like this. So yeah, I might... I'm considering using this design for the LP because it's it's not too bulky. As long as it's uh, underground, it's fine, and my whole base is going to be underground anyway. So yeah, I'm, I think I might use this design just because I like how it is all laid out. It's relatively simple. Very few levers and all that. You just, when you want cow... Oh, the only thing is, uh, actually, instead of right here, the breed the window should be right there. Yeah, if only I could figure out some kind of system to, uh, get that beef out of the way, that would be good. Maybe have, like, a, uh, piston on a clock here? Oh, that could work. That never occurred to me till now. I could just... Gotta pick this up, so I'm just gonna stop the system again. Yeah, see, you get a decent rate on the beef. I mean, it's not, like, super fast, but it's not bad either. I'm thinking now we could go over here like that. And get this out of the way. For now. Yep, I think that might work. Uh... Here, let's see, could we, uh, 
maybe expand this out a little bit to make sure we get it all and just like put two pistons here and then somehow catch those with the redstone yeah that would work probably that would have to work so I know we could get it I mean if all else fails we can just uh, get that I don't know it could be difficult to catch them like that it might be easier to uh, we could just move this one more back or a couple more back and then we could easily do it and that would probably make things a little more that makes it a little less compact but if we can set up a system where we never have to worry about that the uh, drops gain there then you could just sit here for a couple minutes and let the cows die and then collect it all or you could push it all into a water stream which would be much better a lot better because then you could completely hide everything which would be really cool alright so let's put levers back here instead and we'll put our pistons regular piston in the middle put blocks over them and wire all this up I don't know. I'm not sure if I should be showing this but I don't know I think it's kinda interesting to see the whole design process of it I don't usually show my design process I just kinda alright here's what I'm gonna do here's the finished product is my normal type the way I do it normally so this is a change for me Alright, let's try this out. Yeah, this is more my forte. is like technical builds. Yeah, see, it just stopped. That was... I don't think we have enough powered rails here now. That could be an issue. Major issue, because I can't really add more. In this situation. Maybe I can, uh... I'll make it straight. Then we could fit a few more in there, I think. Yeah, could fit quite a few more. And then we can come out here and put it on this side. It's not an issue from here over. And then we gotta move all this over one. Not a big deal, just minor changes. But yeah, I'm thinking this design it's pretty good I don't see why we couldn't use it the only th problem I could see happening is just the cows getting there and we could always just bring them over from another cow farm and use this as a cooker but if we were gonna do that I would just use a bud switch cooker which is faster but I do I like this design I just like how fancy it is even if it's not necessarily a practical design I mean I do stuff practically but it's also it's good to have some fun with it Alright, so that's going to push everything. I guess let's try it again. We're, what do we do with the minecart? Do we break it? I'm going to assume we did. So there you go, minecart. Alright, let's see what happens. Nice. So now we should be able to just let this go by over and over. And everything gets pushed out of the way. Let's just uh, let's put some more cows in there, and I'm just gonna watch this for a while and see if anything goes wrong with it. So I'll be back. All right, guys. As you can see, the cow farm is now working. Uh, it took a while to design it all, but now that it's done, it is working really well. Uh, basically, oh my god. I'm just gonna go offline on Skype. All right, yeah. So uh, the cows, they would be bred in there, and then this lever here will control whether they get picked up by the minecart or not. So right now, no more cows will be cooked. And to eliminate the need to walk up here and grab the beef every time it comes around, I added this little mechanism here, which is not so little. All right, so. My first thought with this was, okay, there's that glitch with powered rails where a sticky piston can hold them over air, but apparently that's only on the retracting end. So I could not leave these floating like I wanted to before. So instead, I just have them 
what I did was set up an opposite deer. So what this does is pushes out these two blocks, and then these power drills push onto them. Then these retract, and then these blocks pull back finally. And that's achieved using this pulse extender here, which is basically just um, some repeaters to keep the redstone from backtracking. And then there's a repeater here that keeps the pulse pushed on longer. So this is all controlled by this detector rail here. So when the minecart comes around, the cow dies, and then the minecart comes around, hits this detector rail, which first causes, uh, it comes all the way around, and it first causes this to push out. Then after that, these pistons push out, and yeah, you know, you saw it before. And that will push all the beef into this water. I was having an issue where some beef would get stuck in the center, so I just made that a sticky piston so it would consistently push it. But yeah, now the beef gets pushed into this water stream, and I would just be sitting at the end here. I'd flip it on and I'd be waiting, which is a lot more convenient than running up there and collecting it. Uh, the whole time, as of now, the only way to like maintain your cows is just kind of watch it and make sure you don't get below a few cows. So I might set up a system later to bring in new cows, like maybe somehow get a cow stockpile system where I could get a whole bunch of cows somewhere and just send them over to this cooker. But I'm not really sure how that's all going to work. So here, let's just turn this back on again and see what happens. I want to do a little more stress testing on this to make sure it's all good. Is it not picking up cows anymore? Seems to have issues with that. I wonder if relogin would fix that. Or it got open servers on accident. Uh, let's see if it picks them up now. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's just, uh, once they get pushed up by that piston, they have a tendency to not want to get moved. Maybe I could fix that with, like, a piston right here. Pushing it. Maybe if I push that glass into them. There's, oh, there we go. One got picked up now. I think I just nudged him in the corner there. But, yeah, this also, this could work. No, that won't work. Alright, so you can see it in action here. You can just sit here. And it all gets pushed off, pulls back, and it drops. And we are out of cows. That's why we gotta watch it. So the next part of this we have to design is the actual like cow spawning ground. Because if you look here, if we, we can breed as many cows as we want in here. But I would rather not Oh, oops, I just let all the cows out. I would rather not have to have a system, have to, like, manually flip that lever back to keep the cows from all dying out. I would much rather just have it work, and it already automatically gets some more cows. Not sure how I'd do that, really, though. I guess, uh, I don't know. I had a system worked out for it at one point. I might be able to kind of rebuild that system here and get it to work. But this cooker should all work just fine. So I'm going to experiment with some designs for the cow farms, and I'll cut back in whenever I'm like close to finishing up a design. Alright guys, I've got a design decently roughed out here. Uh, God, I really need to turn my sound down. Alright, uh, uh, maybe a little more up than that. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I did a bunch of wiring on this, and I want to test out this. One thing I want to look at is if these cows are going to be stupid and just walk into the hole, because if they do, that screws everything up. But I'll, uh, I'll stress test that later. I'll probably, uh, I'll have a lock on that. I'll, there'll be a block that locks in there or something, so they can't get out. I've still got to set that up, though. But here's how this works. This is a 9x9, nine nine, so the water flows perfectly on it. So watch what happens. I This is the first time I've tested it with cows in it, so let's see how it goes. See, the water comes out, and it pushes a cow to the center, and once a cow gets in there at some point or another, 
they're all getting shoved in there. See, once one hits it, flips this T flip flop again, and the water goes away. Let's see. Here, just uh. Now I actually want to see how many cows we got here, so. I'm gonna go up here and let them drop. Because I want to see if we're getting more than one cow before it closes back up. Because they might, there might be multiple slipping in really quickly before the water goes away. It looks like that's definitely a possibility for that to happen. But yeah, the point of this is I can breed them in this area. And then when I want to cook them, I can put, this would be floating over that. And I could just push a button. It would release a cow into there from this system and another one just naturally fell down so yeah that will be an issue that we need to resolve because we don't want cows randomly getting pushed in there because if one cow falls in on accident another one's gonna go with it and it's just gonna start causing issues so I'm gonna rig up some kind of locking mechanism to that really quick as soon as one cow goes down here come on come on buddy Get in the hole. Get the hell away, cuz. Just let him fall. Jesus. Oh my god, these things are stupid. There we go. Oh my god, these why are these things so stupid? There we go. Alright, it's on the right state now. So I'm gonna rig up the locking mechanism and then I'll be back. Alright guys, so I hooked up that floodgate, and it seems to be working pretty well with a uh, low cow density. I've got about 15-20 cows down there probably now because I've been testing it. Watch this. And eventually one cow will get pushed in. Come on. There we go. And then it all closes back up. Always only gets one cow. And then they all collect down in this chamber. We got 16 down there at the moment. Lava. Ah, that's better. But, yeah. I'm, one test I want to do is putting, like, maybe a hundred cows in here and trying it because I might be loading this room up with cows at some point so I'm just gonna load this up with cows and do some testing and see how it all works okay so the system works with a ton of cows in there but clearly I need to make the walls taller because there are cows jumping around all over the place but yeah this system looks like it's all gonna work. I just would have to put this on top of here and it would all work perfectly. I'm thinking because it takes so long to get cows down from here to there if I have a lot in here, that I'll probably only keep like six or seven cows up here at one time. And then I'll breed the cows down in this chamber to get a lot more cows. That way I can get a lot of cows at one time in here and then cook them all and then I can send a couple cows from down here to start the breeding process again so and then I can breed more for up here whenever I want and I'll just have a room where I can enter here so I think all this is gonna work pretty well uh, tell me if you like this kind of episode because I haven't really done anything like this before in like a test world just testing stuff out but I think this is what I'm better at so I prefer to show this stuff like I'm really not a very good builder. I mean, the Parthenon is not that great. Uh, that's just not my specialty. I prefer technical stuff. So, just give me feedback if you like this better than the other type. Or what. But, yeah, we're just going to end this episode here, because we basically figured out everything we need to know for the cow farm. So, until a while, actually, because I'll be gone for a while. See ya.